I think the sitting pose is probably one of my favourite poses because you can achieve so many different variations. One pose can very easily flow into three or four different shots from full body shots to tight head shots. This is especially useful because when a pose flows with few interruptions, it's much easier to maintain a great expression. This type of shot is ideal for lifestyle portraits, models, actors, musicians, seniors, and creative entrepreneurs. But I probably wouldn't use it for corporate shots because I think it's a little too casual a pose and doesn't look professional. This cut pose can be created anywhere a woman can sit, on the floor, on a couch, on a bed, in a car. In this portrait of Australian TV personality Cindy Sargon, I got her to drive her gorgeous powder blue Mercedes convertible into my studio and positioned her in a pose, making use of the car as a very expensive prop. Can you tell I have a crush on her car because I was in love with this beautiful machine? Another prop that's not nearly as expensive and far more readily available is the humble wall. When I'm looking for locations, I'm always on the lookout for interesting walls with great texture or patterns like this one I used for model and TV personality Susie Wilkes. I love this pose because I'm able to fill the frame with Susie's entire body and the angles of her upper body, leaning forward slightly, and arms and legs make the portrait really interesting and dynamic. Other variations you might like to try are ask your model to hug both knees with their arms or just one knee or get them to put their hands back behind their body but just make sure that when your model rests their body weight on their hands it doesn't cause their arms to look too bulky.